Hello the internet, it is Saturday the 24th of October 2020 and welcome back to the channel. Now if you're new here you won't know this, but regular givers will certainly know this story, this saga. I recently had a skin cancer on my forehead treated, all clear, everything's back to normal. But this has gone on for a bit of, about a year and a half and I want to walk you through the process and how I treated it using a topical ointment called Aldara. We're going to talk about the pros and cons of Aldara and what I would recommend if you're in the similar situation that I found myself in. This story is a little embarrassing if I'm being honest. I was, um, you know, I had a pretty terrible reaction. So hopefully you can avoid these reactions by watching this video and making a decision beforehand. Hey, by the way, if this video helps you at all along your way, please do me a solid. Hit the subscribe, hit the like, hit the share, do all the things YouTube request. Like, share, subscribe, that'll help me a little ways uh, fighting the YouTube algorithm. I'd appreciate that. But let's start from the beginning. So this thing appeared on my forehead. I thought it was a pimple or a... I actually thought I'd been rubbing my face too harshly while showering, while cleaning, maybe with the towel afterwards, and I thought it was just like a reaction to something. I don't know. I I didn't know what it was. It was like a little red dot, a little discoloration. And I mentioned it to my friends, to the givers, and they were like, oh, you, we don't know what it is, but you better get that checked out. And so the process of getting this thing checked out, that entails what they call a punch biopsy. Now this is where it gets a little embarrassing for me, but I'll tell you the story, but punch biopsy is what it sounds like. It's a little, it's not a, it's not a punch to the head, but it's a little snap, a little slice out of your skin that the doctor takes and they, they assess it and they tell you what's in there. They check all the cells and stuff. So to get that out, they've got to anesthetize, anesthetize. I can never say that word. They've got to put something in because then they're going to slice you open. I had a terrible reaction to the thing, the anesthetic that they put in me. They did it here at the local medical center. My pulse rate went right down. I was starting to sweat. I was felt like I had to faint even though I was laying down. I expressed all this to the to the to the medical center staff. They start ringing an ambulance. They ship me off in an ambulance to the hospital. Now, finding out later on why this went down, they said, "Well, sir, you you went into a state that's often associated with dying. And if, if you did die, we don't have the facility to resus you here. So we shipped you off immediately to the hospital. Now this may not happen with you. I hope it doesn't. It's scary. It's a scary experience. A little medical center where I could have died just by getting a punch biopsy. So I was frightened. I was frightened about this. Thankfully, they got the biopsy and they did the test. Unfortunately, it came back as a BCC. Well, fortunately, I suppose BCC is the the good cancer, right? Not the gnarly one. Either way, it's got to come out. How does it come out? They cut you open and cut the thing out. So I was like, oh man, I don't know if I want to do that. I had this terrible reaction, blah, blah, blah. I was in the hospital. It was all frightening. Is there another way? Turns out there is. It's called Aldara cream. This is what it looks like, a little pump vial of Aldara cream. So my doctor recommended we use this instead of going under the knife again. That works for me. That works <laughs> completely for me. So what I've got here, I've got a little video. It's kind of like a compilation of the progress of the Aldara cream, when you start using it to what it, how it reacts with you and what it looks like, because there are some pros and there are some cons to this stuff. And if I could go back in time, I wouldn't use it. And I'll explain why at the end of this video, but I wouldn't, I would not recommend using this for obvious reasons. But let's have a little look at this video. By the way, that little image there on the screen, if you want to supply your own image to the Discord, that's how you can get a uh, background image up there. I think that one there is from Rob Ozzy. Either way, there's links in the description to the Discord. If you want to supply your own background image, maybe it'll come up on a video. So it's up to you if you want to. But this is a little video I've put together. This goes back to, I guess, midway through last year, maybe August last year. Let's take a look at this. August, right. So what we're seeing there is this is the actual first kind of, I guess it's one of the first sightings of this thing. I didn't know what that was. I mean, what does that look like to you? A little discoloration, a little blurry discoloration. 
So I kind of, you know, let that go for a while. I think we go forward now to December of that same year. Um, yeah, December, right? So, so right there, that looks like I've been scratching it to me. It looks like I've scratched the surface or whatever that thing is, I've scratched the surface. I've asked the givers, they've said, yeah, man, you should go and get that checked out. So I've gone and had the, the hospital experience for the, for the um, reaction to the anesthetic. My doctors then said, this guy's your guy, Aldara cream. So we started treatment. Now what you're gonna see next is a little confronting. If you've never used this cream, this is gonna put you off it. But check what, check out this. Now this is normal reaction. Check out the reaction to the cream here coming up. <clears throat> so this is March, 2020. I've been using the cream for about three days at that point. And look at my landmine on my forehead, right? Look at this disgusting thing. And here's the same month, a couple of days later, look at that. So what you've got there, folks, that is the, the reaction of the Aldara cream doing its thing. This is what it's supposed to do. So just to, just to give you the doctor's wrap of this, what this thing does is it grabs your immune system from anywhere in your body and sends it to a particular hot zone, in my case, my forehead. So that's actually a natural reaction. That means the cream's working. Now, on the flip side of that, to you, you'll start to feel ill. You'll like you'll feel like you're coming down with something. You'll feel run down. You'll feel like you're, you know, you're getting a cold. Or, and by the way, March 2020, COVID-19 was popping, and it was all over the place. And I was at the worst of my immunity because of this cream. So, it, the the lack of immunity in people, I would, if you have a, a terrible immune system, I would definitely recommend not touching this stuff. You will feel ill. But getting back to these results, this is what the doctor wanted to see. This is a good result. It just looks hideous. But that's what you want. You want this, this chunky, clunky, gunky, dirty landmine. And look, a couple of days later, how raw is that? Look how raw that is. That's, that was kind of terrible to sleep with too because you'd get it all over the pillowcases and it was, it was not a pleasant time. You could cover it with a bandage, but then when you wake up, you got to peel that bandage off and it's like ripping straight into your open wound. It wasn't pleasant. Not a pleasant experience at all. That's And you can also see it's kind of coming down my forehead into another area. That's because the cream attacks the cells around the zone. It wants to get everything. So it, it attacks areas that you don't even know. Potentially, there might even be some more nasty stuff there. It goes for that as well. So it, it does a good job, but, but man... It's a messy job, right? This is March. This is the worst month of the year for me, for sure. Everybody said to me, what are you, what are you? I remember surfing, people were saying, did you hit the bottom, dude? What's with your head? So same month, end of the month now, look how clean it is. As, as nasty as it comes, and as quickly as it comes, it goes again. Look how clean that is. That's a pretty clean, okay, you can obviously see something's going on there, but that's a clean, clean war zone if you like that's March so looks good right but we don't know if the cream worked at that point so the doctor has no verification until here you go another uh, April a little while later just to show you how clean it is I don't know if that's ever gonna come the same coloring as my skin but that's I mean I'm I'm 45 years of age. I've had my time, right? I'm not getting any better looking. I'm going to pause it right here because as you can see, I've got the stitches in there. So what I want to say with that is, this is the natural result. This is the natural process for Aldara cream. The thing that sucks about it, and the reason I said earlier in this video is if I could have go back, I wouldn't use it, is because personally for me, with the knife, getting under the knife, I had the terrible reaction. Had I have been told at the start that once this cream had been used, we're still going to need to do another punch biopsy. I would have been like, what? i got to get under the knife again? And that's what we see here. We see the stitches in. I wanted to avoid the knife. I thought the cream was avoiding the knife, but it turns out I had the first punch biopsy. Then I got the war zone of cream treatment. Then I had to have another punch biopsy. I don't know if that's the same when they cut it out. I'm assuming they cut it out and then they stitch you up and you're done. I don't know. I've never had it before. Hope I never have it again. But that's something to be be aware of. You will have to go under the knife at least twice for the for the treat the treatment with the cream. So 
think about that if, if it concerns you like it did. I mean, for me, it was in my forehead. Not much skin there between the temple and, and skull, right? So uh, it was a scary thing. So let's take a quick look at this. Uh, the stitches right there. And I guess we can compare this now to what we've got going on right now. Uh, let's have a look at that right now if you want to compare it. The stitches have now been removed and the doctor's given me the all clear. There's a little bit of scabbing there, but I mean, that's pretty, pretty clean, right? As far as removing of cancer and stitches and all that, it's back to normal, I think. So I'm thankful for that. Another thing I'm thankful for is my patron supporters. If you're a supporter of me on Patreon, you financially contribute to this content. I really appreciate you. Thank you so much for helping me to be able to do this on the full time. It's really, really kind, really, really generous. Thank you to the patrons. If you want to become a patron, always links down in the description down below. I guess that kind of wraps up the Aldara treatment cream. To, to finalize my thoughts here for you, just consider if you do have bad reactions to anesthetics and potentially needles in your freaking head, you may want to go down the avenue of the, the Aldara cream, but be aware it's going to look terrible for a while. And I don't know whether this is going to come back to a clean skin tone. I'm not sure. I hope it does, but the doctor said it should, but it hasn't. And it's been what? So it was August 2019. We're now October 2020. I mean, I can give you an update later on down the track if we do get nice and clean. But for the time being, I hope this video has been helpful for you. And if you have any further questions, hit me up in my Discord or on my live streams. I'm not really active in my comments section, but I'm live once a week here on YouTube where I'll happily chat with you all. And until then, I'll see you on the next video.